Hello Reds, welcome back to United Inside. Manchester United is preparing for their upcoming clash against Brighton with an intense training session at Carrington. After kicking off the Premier League season with a win over Fulham last Friday, the team returned to the training ground on Monday to focus on their next challenge, a match away at Brighton on Saturday, 24th of August. Under the watchful eye of manager Eric Ten Hag, key players including captain Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, Ahmad Diallo and Marcus Rashford were in attendance. Along with promising talents like Alejandro Garnacho and Kabi Mainu, who continue to impress with their dedication and skill. New signings, including Nermazwi Mati Delict and Joshua Xerxy, are becoming more integrated into the squad, showcasing their abilities and adapting to Ten Hag's tactical approach. Goalkeeper Andre Onana, who had an impressive debut against Fulham, was also actively involved, further strengthening his connection with the defense. The training session was crucial as the team worked on refining strategies and building team cohesion ahead of their match against a tricky Brighton side. Defender Lenny Yoro, who recently underwent surgery, was notably absent as he continues his recovery. His absence allowed younger academy players to step up, with Ten Hag and his coaching staff closely evaluating their potential contributions to the first team. The intensity of the session reflected the high standards set by Ten Hag, focusing on both physical conditioning and tactical drills to ensure the team is fully prepared for the weekend's encounter. Manchester United has started the season on a positive note, but Ten Hag is well aware of the importance of maintaining momentum. His meticulous approach to training aims to keep the squad in peak condition, both mentally and physically, as they navigate the demanding Premier League campaign. As the countdown to Saturday's match begins, United fans are eager to see how the team builds on their opening victory. With new signings settling in and the squad showing great promise in training, hopes are high that United can continue their winning streak and make a strong statement against Brighton. Manchester United is ramping up their preparations for the upcoming Premier League showdown against Brighton, holding an intense and focused training session at their Carrington Complex. This match is crucial for United, as they look to regain momentum and improve their league standings. The session at Carrington has been meticulously planned, with the coaching staff emphasizing tactical drills tailored to counter Brighton's dynamic play style. Eric Ten Hag, keen to address any vulnerabilities, is pushing the squad to refine their defensive shape and attacking transitions. The team's recent performances have highlighted the need for better cohesion and sharper execution, and this training session is aimed at correcting those issues. Key players are being closely monitored, with a focus on fitness and recovery to ensure they are at peak condition for the match. The training session also features scenario-based exercises, where the players simulate various in-game situations they might face against Brighton. This includes set-piece drills, pressing patterns, and counter-attacking strategies, all designed to prepare the team for the specific challenges posed by their opponents. Additionally, the coaching team is paying special attention to individual performances, with personalized guidance being offered to players who need to refine certain aspects of their game. For instance, attackers are working on finishing drills to improve their efficiency in front of goal, while defenders are focusing on positioning and communication to tighten up the backline. The atmosphere at Carrington is one of determination and focus, as the squad knows that a strong performance against Brighton is essential. The match is not just about three points. It's an opportunity for Manchester United to send a message to the rest of the league that they are still a force to be reckoned with. The intensity of the training session reflects the seriousness with which United is approaching this fixture. With Brighton known for their organized and aggressive play, United is leaving no stone unturned in their preparations. The players are fully aware of the importance of this match, and the coaching staff is working tirelessly to ensure that every detail is addressed before they step onto the pitch. As the match day approaches, Manchester United fans will be hoping that the hard work at Carrington pays off, leading to a performance that can turn the tide in their season and boost their confidence moving forward. Meanwhile, 
Amadou Onana explains why he snubbed Man Ut to make 50 million pounds Aston Villa transfer move. Manchester United were admirers of Amadou Onana before the Belgium international midfielder made a 50 million pounds move from Everton to Aston Villa, who boast Champions League football. Amadou Onana has explained his decision to join Aston Villa in a £50 million transfer deal, despite interest from Manchester United. Onana, 22, had been tipped for a move to Old Trafford before signing on the dotted line at Villa Park, putting pen to paper on a five-year contract. Villa paid Everton a club record fee to sign the Belgium international, who played every minute of their Euro 2024 campaign. United were linked with Onana throughout last season and the Red Devils remain keen on recruiting a young, defensive-minded midfielder to succeed Casemiro. Arsenal were also credited with interest, but it's not the glamour of those clubs that Onana wanted. In an interview with Belgian outlet La Dernière Heure, after joining Vila, he explained, I think that's where I should be, Vila. And for me, Aston Villa is part of the top of English football. The ranking speaks for itself and is significant. The general public may think that it is not the most glamorous club, but it was the best choice for the player I am today. The question does not arise because Aston Villa is a top club. I went where I felt the right ambition and the best project to make me grow. Onana, who swapped Lila for Everton in 2022, added, I'm just extremely happy to be here. I was able to feel the atmosphere at the club a little, meet the various employees of Aston Villa. The vibe is good, the mood is good, I'm ready to get to work. They come out of an excellent season with a fourth place, and you add to that the fact that the environment seemed to me the most conducive to my development, and that I will be able to work with Unai Emery, one of the most qualified coaches in the field. I can learn a lot of things by his side and reach the next level. I have always been very in tune with this objective of constant improvement. It was the perfect step. Everything has been calculated and analyzed. I am where I was supposed to be. United's focus has now turned to Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Manuel Ugarte. The 23-year-old Uruguayan only signed for PSG last summer, costing 60 million euros, 51 million pounds, from Sporting Lisbon, but he's now the subject of talks between the two clubs. Amadou Onana, who has been a standout performer in recent seasons, was the subject of intense interest from some of Europe's elite clubs. Manchester United, with their rich history and recent resurgence under new management, presented an attractive offer. However, Onana ultimately opted for a move to Aston Villa, a decision that has left many surprised. Onana's decision to join Aston Villa can be attributed to several key factors. Onana cited Aston Villa's ambitious project and long-term vision as a major influence on his decision. Under the guidance of manager Unai Emery, Villa has been rapidly establishing itself as a competitive force in the Premier League. The club's plans for growth and its recent improvements in squad depth and performance made a compelling case for Onana. At Aston Villa, Onana is expected to play a central role in the midfield, with the club seeing him as a crucial part of their plans. The opportunity to be a cornerstone in a burgeoning team was a significant draw for the Belgian international. In contrast, Manchester United's midfield options and the high competition for starting places may have presented uncertainties about Onana's role and playing time. Onana expressed a desire to be in an environment where he could grow both personally and professionally. Aston Villa's supportive environment and clear pathway for player development were key factors in his decision. The chance to take on a leadership role at a club on the rise was particularly appealing. Lifestyle and personal considerations also played a role in Onana's decision. Aston Villa's location and the club's approach to player welfare and family life were seen as beneficial for his overall well-being. But Aston Villa's acquisition of Onana represents a significant coup for the club. The £50 million transfer fee underscores their commitment to building a competitive squad. 
Onana's arrival is expected to enhance Villa's midfield capabilities and provide a boost to their ambitions of securing European football. Amadou Onana's decision to snub Manchester United in favor of a move to Aston Villa is a testament to the evolving dynamics of football transfers. His choice reflects a combination of professional ambition, personal preferences, and the appealing project at Aston Villa. As Onana embarks on this new chapter of his career, both Aston Villa and Manchester United will be keenly observing how his decision unfolds in the coming seasons.